Well, I am here with Tom, who is part of you. You're part of the Trail Keepers of Oregon, right? That's right. Uh -huh. And that's an organization that actually goes out and with a lot of volunteer up and maintains trails, that's or right. hiking trails. That's right. Now, <laughs> I got to tell you all, uh, we're, we're going to be talking about poison oak. And trust me, my history with it is, is really awful. I've, I've gotten it a lot. So I'm standing in a beautiful stand of it because at this time of year, Tom, it is actually turning beautiful. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is. If we didn't have a skin reaction, we probably plant it in our gardens because <laughs> it's, so it's so useful. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, because it really is. It's not a full sun area here. It's kind of shady. So tell yeah. us, where does yeah. this really grow yeah. well here in this area? This is pretty typical. This is on a forest margin. It likes uh, enough sun uh, to be able to grow, uh, you know, in bright conditions, but not out in the middle of an open, you know, rock field, that yeah. kind of thing. So you'll see it on the edges of the forest. Uh, under deciduous trees, under a big leaf maple right here, that's a really common uh, place for it. Now, they are turning color now because it is fall, but yeah. what, how would you, what would be a, a way to search for it in spring if it were like yeah. in our yard somehow? Yeah, so uh, I'm going to point to a leaf up here. Okay. <laughs> so uh, this this right here is kind of looks like most of the summer right there. Yeah. It's, uh, it's uh, green, it starts out brighter green in the spring, and those leaves would be really shiny as if they had just a glaze on them in spring. Okay. And that's actually when they're probably most toxic. That's uh -huh. oil on the surface, and they've just really exploded with it in the spring. And then they kind of uh, become more of a dull color over the summer, L less oil. It doesn't make them a lot less toxic, but Certainly. less oil. And then in the, in the fall, um, they, just like a lot of deciduous plants, they just turn color and the leaves drop off. And then uh, in the winter, you'll see, there, there's a little shoot here I'm going to point to. You'll see little shoots like this. This uh -huh. is one that's dropped its leaves. And here's some up here. And uh, one of the things in the gorge is that people hike here year round, and you can actually get it from, from the even stems, that. even with the leaves off. Yeah. So. And we really don't have the ivy, the poison ivy here. We, we in only this have area. poison oak in this area. Okay. Yeah. They're related, but this is definitely its own species. Yeah. But Tom, the, there are different. Let's call them forms of it. This is kind of a shrubby, almost ground cover type form. Right. 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 And then there's a, there's a, a one right over here that's. Um, kind of pointing down the hill there uh -huh. that's kind of tall and they can get up to you know maybe uh, six ten feet wow. in some cases as sort of a tall shrub uh, almost like brush and then it can grow as a vine it can actually climb trees and we'll see one of those down the so trail let's a let's bit. take a little walk down here mm -hmm. and look at that one that's a vine mm -hmm. now Tom we are standing by a tree here and this is the climbing form of this that's right isn't it? yeah yeah it's a great example too you can see how it's uh, basically almost like ivy it just climbs yeah. up the tree uh, and uh, I've seen it grow, you know, 30, 40 feet into a tree and have a two or three inch wow. trunk at the base. So th that's where it goes from shrub to being almost like a tree. You've just on given a... me a lot of fodder for <laughs> nightmares. Thank you, Tom. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, let's let's talk to you about, I'm, so many people have heard this, you know, leaflets three, let it be. I heard it when I was a very young yeah. child in Texas there yeah. too. So tell us about that. Yeah, it's a pretty good way to identify it because it almost always has three leaflets. They're sort of lobed and they look like an oak leaf, each uh -huh. leaflet. So that's how it gets its name. And so in the gorge, there are plants that look like it, but pretty much if you see the three leaflets, it's probably poison oak. And, you know, while we were just discussing this earlier, you had mentioned to me about dogs, and it's something that I had never thought about if you're taking your yeah. dog hiking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People don't think about this. Uh, there's, there's all kinds of good reasons that trail keepers that we talk about leashing your dog, mostly for the dog's safety. But dogs off trail can be walking through poison oak. We've got a big stand of it around us here. And as a hiker, you wouldn't see that. Uh, the dogs may get a little bit of, of reaction on their muscle or on their underbelly. But really, they're just terriers. They're really a big sponge for the oil. And so when they come back and they've got that fur and you pet them, you have no idea, <laughs> uh, probably until a few days later, that, until, that they what were happened. poison oak. Right? Well, now, if we see some in our yard, tell me quickly, what, what can we do? What should we do to protect ourselves? Yeah, I think the, the main thing uh, is to eradicate it because it's a native. It's going to keep coming back. Yeah. Uh, you probably want to use an herbicide, uh, even if you're not uh, strong into herbicides. This is one case where you, you probably might make an exception. Yeah, <laughs> use an herbicide, uh, give it a year to die, maybe hit it again, and then uh, really dispose of it not as compost because yeah. the oil can remain in the wood for years, wow. even in dead plants. So you really want to probably just bag up the, the uh, pieces and put them in the trash. Well, thank you so much, Tom. For more information on poison oak in our area and what you can do to protect yourself and your garden from it, go to gardentime.tv. Thank you so much, my mm -hmm. friend. Thank you.